Hey guys, this is CKD from Techcraft. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Python keylogger. First of all, open up your Python IDE and hit Ctrl plus N to begin a new Python file. We need three modules for this uh, keylogger to work. So we're going to import PyHook, Python.com and type. Our keylogger will work in a way such that each day you type some words it will be stored in a new file and that file will, will be named after that day's date. So the next two lines of code are for setting the file name as the, that particular day's date. Also, our keylogger prints the timestamp too. So, in order to access the time, we use the time module and we store the current time to a variable known as x. So, the next line of code is for that. Okay, with that done, all the initializations are over. Now we should create a text file with the name of that particular day's date which is stored in the date variable. So the next lines are for creating a text file in, a, in the desired location. The location is also stored in the date variable. You can change it according to your wish. Uh, after creating the text file with the date as its name, uh, we're gonna uh, write something to it. We're gonna first print the current time that is timestamp so that you can know when uh, and which keys are pressed. So the x variable has the current time in it, so we're gonna use it for printing the timestamp. Next, we'll create a function which controls the uh, recording of the keystrokes. So we'll, the na we'll name the function as on keyboard event and the function will have an attribute event. Uh, this attribute event is that is used to access all the keys and even we can access the window name also and the window ID and we can access so many stuff using those three modules up there. So uh, we are gonna uh, define a function known as on keyboard event. First of all in the function we should declare the variable x as global because we need that variable to print the timestamp for the uh, in the program. Next thing is we should check if the key press is enter or not and if it is enter then it should print a new line in the text file. Then it should check if the uh, pressed key is space. If it is space then it should print a blank space. Then it will check if the uh, pressed key is a backspace. If it is backspace then same it will print a backspace. If it is not satisfying the above three conditions it will directly print whatever key you type. Anyways, I will provide a link to the code in the description down below. So check if you want the code or just do it yourself.
the next four lines of code actually enables the key logging first we are going to initialize the hook manager using pyhook.hook manager then we are going to check if the key is pressed using hook manager dot key down and if the key is pressed we will call the function on keyboard event and in that function we did all those things to uh, save each character to the, to the text file uh, so that's it for this keylogger uh, I hope you enjoyed it uh, it's not the end of the video I'm going to show you if it's working or not so stay tuned okay now let's run the program and check whether if it's working you can click F5 to run or you can just go to the menu up there and click run and when it's running we are going to type some sentences and check if those sentences are saved in the text file in the desired location ok the program is running and now we will enter some sentences and we'll check whether it is saved in the text file or not ok now let's open the text file and check if all the keys are logged or not okay, okay here we go ah here you can see that each thing is logged and the timestamp is also there so you you are so much accurate and you know when the each keys are pressed and all even the window name is there so that you can know in which window the user entered each keys and that's it guys that's for this small video over here thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos you guys are only my support so uh, thank you guys